In this module, we're going to be exploring the constitutional era of Indigenous politics. This starts um, really with the White Paper in 1969, this movement to uh, eliminate any kind of legal protections for status Indians, uh, re repealing the Indian Act and transforming Indigenous Canadian relations basically into the relationship between the Government of Canada and any other Canadian. Um, this results in a massive um, rejection by status Indians and other Indigenous peoples um, of this policy and, and really ushers in an era of transformation and, and conflict and change, um, resulting in ultimately the uh, protection of Indigenous, I should say, protection of Aboriginal uh, rights in uh, the Canadian Constitution. What this means, the protection of Aboriginal rights and what Aboriginal rights means in the Constitution is still uh, very much debated. And what we're going to be looking at at the end of this module is the attempt through political means to negotiate what Aboriginal and treaty rights in Section 35 of the Canadian Constitution means and the failure to come to some sort of consensus. The result, um, which we'll be exploring in future module, modules, is basically the litigation to um, define what Aboriginal and treaty rights mean in Canadian law.